So to really try and minimise disputes and make it abundantly clear on termination of what payments are owed and what entitlements are to be paid, and to really explain what the process is for both the employer and the employee, there's effectively three to four clauses that I look for in an employment agreement. So firstly, there is a termination with notice provision in the contract that allows the employer or the employee to resign or give notice and terminate that contract. And that can either require then the employer to work out that period or the employer can make an election and, a payment, and make a payment to the employee in lieu of that notice period. In the absence of an express notice period, an employee could argue that they're entitled to an implied reasonable notice period. And that can be as high as six to 12 months, depending on seniority, duties, length of employment, and how hard it might be to find further employment. So making sure that you have that provision in the employment contract to fill the gap so there's no need for an implied term of reasonable notice is really important. The third clause that I like to see in an employment contract is flexibility for the employer in terms of what can happen in that notice period. So firstly, um, can the employer simply direct the employer to work as per usual, or can there be some modified duties imposed on the employee for that period? Can the employer direct the employee onto garden leave, which effectively means that they stay at home, stay away from the premises, don't contact clients, suppliers and employees, but otherwise remain available during business hours for inquiries from the employer? And, and thirdly, making sure that there is a summary dismissal provision in the employment agreement that allows the employer to summarily terminate without any notice and making sure that that provision does not mute or does not narrow the, the common law right to terminate for misconduct in those scenarios. And they're really the three to four provisions I look for an employment contract to minimise those disputes and to provide for a clean exit of employees. Tom, thank you very much for that very practical advice. No worries.